and here's what we're going to be making today this is a steak mince and cheese pie an absolute kiwi classic now i've been trying to perfect this for two years and finally last week i got it together and this is the final version of it um so <laughs> i think um we should just get cracking let's get cooking So this is a video that um, I've wanted to make for quite a long time now, probably two years. Um, I already have 40 recipes for pies on my channel and the one pie that I wanted to perfect was New Zealand's steak mince and cheese pie, probably the most iconic pie in New Zealand. So I did a few experiments with different recipes and pastries and so forth and uh, I, I sort of got close and then I had a breakthrough last week where I made some test pies, uh, small quantities, that were absolutely perfect. So, we're going to make that today and I absolutely guarantee these will be the best pies you'll ever taste. So, um, and surprisingly enough, uh, the ingredients are few because we're going to concentrate on that beef flavour uh, and we're using an Edam cheese um, to complement that and we're using a dark soy sauce to increase the richness of the beef flavour and the filling. So, without any further ado, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> We're actually going to put our meat in first. And what I'll do is, once I've put that in the pan, um, I'll come back when I've got just the right amount of colour on it. Because what we want to do here is just um, caramelise that uh, outer layer of our beef, because that's where the flavour is going to come from then we'll remove it and then we'll get on with the onions. Okay, in we go. Now when you first start frying off your minced beef, you're going to get some of it stick to the bottom of the pan. And that those bits that stick to the bottom are called fond, F-O-N-D. And they're the caramelised part of the meat or whatever you're cooking that's sticking there. Now you'll often hear us say we're going to deglaze the pan which is just a, a fancy term for adding liquid into the pan so that we can then lift that caramelized product off the bottom of the pan and incorporate it back into the recipe. A very important part of cooking because it's that's where the flavour comes from. Right, let's get, let's get this um, fully browned and um, then we can deal with our onions. Right, in with our onions now. Right, now we're going to add <laughs> our beef back into the pan. Okay, now we're going to add our powdered stock. So this is a, a powdered stock that you reconstitute with 250 mils of water. I like using this because it gives me a smoother gravy through the process. So let's stir that in. Then we can add our water. And then we're going to add our soy sauce. So give a good tablespoon of soy sauce, dark soy sauce. I'm using um, a low sodium soy sauce. And then I have a seasoning which I'm going to add instead of salt. 
and this is a seasoning from the gourmet collection just two teaspoons and this is particularly for roast meats so we're going to try and get well <laughs> I've made this before so I know what I'm going to get um, we're going to get a nice sort of roast meat um, texture and flavour uh, to this pie. Now as you can see it's quite liquidy so we're just going to leave that on a low heat and let it simmer until that gravy is really thickened and then we'll season it. Okay this has got really really nice and beautiful and thick so what we're going to do is add a knob of butter and um, then we're going to let it cool off while we prepare our pastry. Now the butter and <laughs> I'm going to put a number of knobs in here. This will make the gravy really shine um, and also add some more complexity to it. So it's a it's a, a bit of a trick of the trade but believe me it's well worth doing. Last thing we're going to do is have a bit of a taste. Oh, wow. That is just the best it could do with a bit of pepper. And that should do us. Oh, I'm really looking forward to these. Now, I apologise for how long this video is, so I'm going to cut down a bit um, during this process. I'm going to cut the um, pastry around about half a centimetre um, wider than the actual pie pan itself. And then I'll come back when I'm fitting the casing into the pie. Okay, I've just come back before then so you can see what I mean by cutting it just slightly wider than the pie dish itself. Okay, so put this into the pie dish and use your knuckle to get it right into the corner and then your thumb to stretch it. There you go. Ready to receive filling. Right, I've just grated some Edam cheese. Now I apologise for the shadows. This has gone on a bit too late because I've taken a lot more effort over this recipe than probably any other recipe I've done. So, we're going to spoon in our beautiful luscious beef mixture. And look at that, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. Now, you can be as generous as you want with this cheese because the combination of flavours is really important. Okay, so we've got that. I've got unsweetened almond milk as my replacement egg wash. So this is going to be, I was going to say it's <laughs> vegan friendly but I think with the minced beef in there we've, um, that ship has sailed hasn't it? Right now let's put the lid on, just press it down with your thumb, then go around the outside, trim off your extra pastry and 
and then to make it really look flat and also to create the seal that you want get a fork and crimp your pie now put four holes in so it's going to let the steam escape as it's cooking and before we shove it in the oven we're going to put our unsweetened almond milk wash over the top to give it that beautiful golden brown look and there we have it our beautiful pies and I'm just gonna brush this almond milk over the top before we pop them in uh, 180 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes um, normally I think I've done about 30 to 35 just to make sure that the bottom part of the pastry um, is cooked properly so it's not not soggy there we have it I'll pop them in and the next time you'll see them is when I take them out and then when you get them out of the oven and you're presented with this you realize it was all worthwhile <laughs> they look fantastic let's get them out of there well get one of them out of their pie tray and let's have a taste right let's open this pie up shall we Look at that, just beautiful. <laughs> I don't want to destroy it because I want to have a taste, but I also want to <laughs> leave it in its magnificence as well. Right, let's get into this. Look at the way that cheese is melted. Mm. <laughs> oh wow oh I am absolutely chuck if you <laughs> if you're passionate about food um I really urge you to watch this and to make this pie um it's so absolutely gorgeous to eat i will catch you on my next recipe